All right, Robbie, you're back at short today. Andrew batting third in the lineup versus your usual two spot. Does your approach change at all in those types of situations? No, not really. I think the pitches that you're going to get are, are a little different. Um, obviously, we got a big power hitter behind me, so I might get a couple more fastballs than normal. But uh, no, I just stick with my approach and keep it same. Nice. And every game for the Sparrows now is a must win in order to make it to the playoffs. Is How is that going to affect your game? Treat it exactly like that. You know, it's a must win. We have to have energy, we have to have focus, we have to have, uh, you know, just drive, drive to compete, to win. All right, and lastly, what is your go-to pregame song to get you hyped up? Oh man, I listen to anything. <laughs> uh, yeah, my, my whole playlist is kind of chili peppers, rap, <laughs> I don't know. All right, awesome, thank you. You had a single in the first inning that led to a run. Does your confidence in the game go up early when you're able to get on the board early? Yeah, definitely. It definitely does. Um, you know, something about seeing the ball better uh, next at bat. I don't know. Just kind of funny like that. But definitely when you get that first hit, that first knock, you definitely get a little boost of confidence. Nice. And before the game, we talked about how this was a must win for the Sparrows to make it to the playoffs. How is it knowing that you guys were able to get that first step? Definitely a, a big confidence builder for the team uh, mm -hmm. in general. You know, we all know that we have the talent to, to make it to the playoffs, and so it's just a matter of putting it down on the field and uh, getting these dubs. And you guys have a day off before you see the Inland Valley Pirates. What do you think the team is going to be looking to do then in order to keep going on this playoff race? Same thing we did now, you know, put it together and place all defense. Our pitching did really well today, so hopefully we can carry that through and have another win. Awesome. Thank you. All right, Coach. Robbie had two hits today. One of them that was a part of that four runs being scored in the first inning. Okay. How important is it for your big guys to attack early? Um, it's like colossal, right? It's <laughs> colossal. I mean, we keep him in that two spot for a reason. Um, he had that big hit, and then we also had one where people thought I was crazy. Um, I think we <laughs> I made Aguilera bunt with a seven and three ball game. I think it was <laughs> seven three ball game. First and second, nobody else. I said, hey, we still gotta get our job done. He does a great job getting it down. Being a team guy, Robbie comes in. Bounces one up the middle. Next, you know, we get two more runs. So kind of put some cushion on it. I think we end up finishing 10-3 or 10-4, something like that. Um, so Robbie's clutch in that, in that area and does a great job. He's a lot of pitches. So, you know, when Nolan's there in the leadoff spot, he can steal, and Robbie can still drive him in with two. And you had him in the three spot today. What was going into that decision? Um, just a couple of new guys uh, playing today. Some guys who got days off. You know, Nolan got a day off today. He needed it. Um, we had a couple other guys. Lucas had a day off for the most part. So we're really we were giving Upstell and said, okay, Upstell usually sees a lot of pitches. We'll put him in the one spot. Um, followed it with Aguilera, who needs to get some playing time in, and the best place for him to be was in the two spot. So then I said, okay, we need to go Robbie three, um, followed by Acuna four, and then having Eli back in the lineup to be five. Nice. And we talked about these last few games being must wins for the Sparrows to make it to the playoffs. How is Robbie contributing to that so far? I mean, he contributes to it all. And, you know, like me, I live by the motto that every game is a must win, <laughs> regardless if it's like, you know, mathematically possible for to make a playoff spot or not. I just believe you should win every game. And if you don't win every game, then you need to find out how you can win the next game and the next game after that. So did a good job winning this game. Uh, Robbie was a huge contributor in that. And, yeah, like you're right, now it's getting to the point where almost every game is a must win um, mathematically. Um, and I think if we play with that mindset that every game is a must win, I think we'll be fine. Um, like I've always said, you know, we have the best team. We have the best hitters. We have the best pitchers. We have the best defenders. But it's a mentality, you know. We're lacking in the mentality. Uh, Robbie's not one of those guys who lacks in the mentality. You know, he comes to the yard every time I ask him, how are you doing? Oh, I feel great, coach, even when he's tired. So uh, that's why he performed so well. Sounds good. Thank you. Thank you.